tonight on MGE Sports. We'll answer the bell for the 13th round with Armand Rounds and count down MGE Sports' top 10 games tonight on MGE Sports. It's the best time of the year, summertime. And Louisiana Leadership Institute has a place for your child in our summer camp, accepting kids kindergarten through eighth grade. Our two-month-long sessions have everything ranging from academic, outdoor activities, and field trips. Visit our website or call 225-358-6700 to enroll your child for the best summer ever. Here at Brown's Boxing Club, we want to see the best fight the best. With those pillow fists, you definitely can get an endorsement from Tipper P. The man can stand in rain without getting wet. You couldn't hit him with a handful of rice. Fight fans. This is the 13th round where we discuss all things boxing, not our boxing. And on this week's episode, we'll take a look back at last week's bout between Clarissa Shields and Marcella Cornejo. We'll also look at tomorrow's upcoming clash between Josh Taylor and Tiafimo Lopez, boxing's big return to the Big Easy, and the WBC plans to unveil a transgender boxing division. Let's get straight to it. Initially, Clarissa Shields was set to take on Hannah Gabriels in a highly anticipated rematch, but Hannah Gabriels' urine samples came back a bit cloudy as she tested positive for a banned Vada substance. So in step, Margiela Cornejo. Three week notice, set to take on what is arguably, or who is arguably, the GWOTE in Clarissa Shields. On paper, this fight was gonna be a tougher fight for Clarissa Shields than Hannah Gabriels. But in the ring, it was something completely different. Let's look at the footage. <laughs> Clarissa Shields completely dominated that bout from the opening bell. Throwing bombs after bomb after bomb after bomb. But Margiela Cornejo proved to be tough, and she made it to the final bell. Big shout out to both the combatants for giving us a wonderful fight. Tomorrow night, we got Josh Taylor and Tiafimo Lopez set to clash for Josh Taylor's WBO super lightweight title. This makes for a very interesting match, being that both fighters were on the winning side of controversial decisions in their last respective bouts. Not to mention the bad blood brewing between the two after Teofimo Lopez had this to say about Josh Taylor. And I said it like it is. I want to kill Josh Taylor. What the f does that mean? People are like, well, let's get back to boxing. I'm like, that is boxing. Mm. This is what we sign up for. You're going to probably lose your life. When I was dying and I was in the ICU after my fight, no one said, Teofimo, wish you well. Hope you're good. Mm -hmm. No one wrote to me. This is a... Uh, this is a... Um, Kill or be killed sport. So when I fought Loma, I took his heart. Took his heart. Yeah. Especially in that 12th round. When I said, come on, he pulled back. He said, I took your heart. Boom. Won the fight. With Taylor, he got no heart. Taylor got no heart. So what, what can I really take from this man? His life. His mm. life. And the only way I'm going to make a statement is by doing that. I'm not sorry about that. I don't, what do I... Because... How do I scare people more than them? How do I put fear in everyone else's eyes? How do I put fear on fear's eyes? Take a man's life. Crazy, man. Let's stick together. What in the Neanderthal is Tiafimo Lopez saying? There's absolutely no room in the sport of boxing for this. And then they keep reiterating and spewing how you want to kill Josh Taylor. That only tells me this about Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo Lopez needs a publicist, an image consultant, a role model, or just a damn hug. Cue the soft, empathetic music for me. I watch boxing from a respectable, unbiased point of view. 
But I will be honest when I say, I hope that Josh Taylor beats the hell out of Tiafimo Lopez tomorrow. Now back to the show. Big Time Boxing is back in New Orleans. Next week, June 17th, Regis Ruru Progray will be taking on Daniel Lito Zarilla in a highly contested and anticipated bout coming to you live from New Orleans, Louisiana in the Smoothie King Center. Now this should be a very, very good fight as Regis Progray is defending his 140 pound WBC title against Daniel Lito Zarilla. And what I'm hearing is, if we can get a big turnout in the Smoothie King Center next week on June 17th, then we can look forward to more big time boxing coming to New Orleans. So, I will be in the building. I look forward to seeing you guys there. The World Boxing Council has made plans to unveil the new transgender boxing division by the end of 2023. We have some footage from those talks and conversations that are going on behind the scenes. Let's take a look. Should Mike Tyson, have you heard of him? Yes, I have. If he identifies as a female, should he be allowed to enter a boxing match with a biological female? Well, the answer, the short answer is yes, somebody who is trans. Okay. After 20 fights, I was undefeated. Only one fighter stood between me and the belt. You got this chick, she's nothing. Tiffany Stone! <laughs> wow, just wow. I don't have much to say about that because sometimes less is more. But what I will say is that it will be very interesting to see what that WBC transgender model looks like. Pause. Pause? Pause what? You said something gay, so you gotta say no homo, or else you the homo. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our time. You know the drill. Head on over to our YouTube channel, Rounds Boxing Club. Then head on over to MG Network's YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Like, subscribe, protect yourself at all times. We out. Peace. Are you the best spades player in the land? Mad Game Entertainment presents Crown Holders, Spades Edition. It's going down every Wednesday starting July 12th at the Showroom Event Center in Baker. Scan the QR code and register online for a chance at the grand prize pack, including $1,000. Plus, be featured on TV. Register online because only one winning team can hold the crown. You dig? Welcome back to MGE Sports. MGE Sports has covered many epic games over the years, and tonight we are proud to present to you our top 10 list. So let's get right to it. We begin our countdown at number 10 with an all-time great performance by former Woodlawn High quarterback Ricky Collins versus the St. Amant Gators. Take a look. At number nine is a thriller between the St. James Wildcats and the Woodlawn Panthers.
The Lutcher High Bulldogs and the North DeSoto Griffins take the number eight spot with their battle for the state championship this past season. Right back after these messages, you're watching MGE Sports. Back into the list of our top 10 games. The Dunham High Tigers and the U High Cubs faced off for a chance to go to the state championship this past season. That epic matchup comes in at number seven on our list.
For our number six spot, we go to the hardwood and take a look at the battle between the Broody Lady Panthers and the Madison Prep Lady Chargers. Right back after these messages, you're watching MGE Sports. Advertising and operating a business go hand in hand. Mad Game Entertainment has a long, detailed history of working within clients' budgets and delivering big results. Mad Game helped launch the popular Go Vote app. We've been involved with several successful political campaigns. We assist the everyday marketing needs for small businesses and many other organizations. We custom fit marketing plans for the largest budget and the most modest. We look forward to enhancing your presence in your industry. into the list of our top 10 games. Coming in at number five on our list is an epic clash on the basketball court between the Zachary High Broncos and the Liberty High Patriots. on our list we head back to the gridiron to take a look at the state championship game between the St. Charles Catholic Comets and the Dunham High Tigers.
back after these messages with the conclusion of our top 10 list you're watching mge sports we have got to find new ways to increase our revenue you sir we can increase our revenue sales by enhancing our social media presence yeah so does anybody else have an idea we can clearly increase our revenue sales by enhancing our social media presence great idea has this ever happened to you make a bold statement upgrade your wardrobe at super cool fashions Thanks, Super Cool. Super Cool Fashions located at 6180 Airline Highway. Welcome back to MGE Sports. Let's get back into the list of our top 10 games. For the number three spot on our list, we go back to the hardwood to revisit a classic matchup between the Liberty High Patriots and the Madison Prep Chargers. Our list goes to Zachary and West Monroe for their double overtime thriller in 2021. Chargers and the U High Cubs were playing the game of the year this past season. Take a look.
this week on MGE Sports. Join us next week as we sit down for a special interview with LSU running back Caleb Jackson. Step back into the ring with Armand Rounds and check back in with Motivated Motion Track. All that and much more next week on MGE Sports.